Hello everyone! Today we are going to be talking about what happened to the continent and everything that happened in between Dawn of Fire and My Singing Monsters because Dawn of Fire was set in the past. It's a prequel to the game. It's not in the future or anything for sure. It's in the past and you can see that with all of the baby forms of the monsters. And we're going to be discussing what happened to the Outer Islands, what happened to Starhenge, what happened to the continent, the big one as well. So we'll start off with the continent because the continent does have quite a few speculative features around it towards what actually happened because we don't have the full picture of what happened. The Firehaven trailer did reveal quite a bunch of what happened though. So essentially what happened when the continent split up you may be thinking. Now it is unknown how the continent split up or why it split up or if there was any reasoning behind it that is unknown so unfortunately we can't go over that but what we can discuss is how the continent split up itself so when the continent split up regardless of how it happened all of the fire elementals went inside of the volcano located to the right of the continent they went inside the volcano and then they took refuge inside the volcano and they weren't seen again until later when a bottle arrived on the shore of tribal island and Kana discovered that the fire elementals were still there and they explored deeper inside the tribal island caverns and discovered the past that they had once forgotten so that was really cool. It's unknown how Kana got to Tribal Island exactly, but it would be really cool to find out how Kana got there. I think it's a really interesting law point how they ended up in that amber in the first place. It does look very similar to the relics amber, so perhaps are related somehow. I really would like to find out how Kana ended up there because we see Kana in the cave painting when the islands have all split up from the continent and Kana seems to be making contact with the nearby colossal there. So that's interesting. That's also another thing that we don't specifically know how it happened. The continent split up, of course, as we know, but then also that all of the separate islands, they are all bound to the colossal that they are now with in the original game so we're unsure how that happens but it looks sort of to me like in the firehaven trailer it looks like it's pointing out that Kana perhaps communicated with the colossals and asked them to bind to the islands that would be a really cool law point wouldn't it Kana seems to be the one in charge here because they have their arm up all of the other fire elementals are down there's glau though but i don't think glau is going to be doing the communicating i think Kana is Kana could talk in Dawn of Fire. We do know that with the come on over here stuff. <laughs> so we do know that. So perhaps Kana is communicating with the Colossal. Perhaps Kana could talk more than what we knew and Kana perhaps lost that through time. That would be an interesting law point, wouldn't it? But it has been confirmed that monsters do have their own language monstrous. So they're probably communicating through that rather. And we do know that when monsters talk real language, it's just parts of our language coming through the Seam. If you don't know what the seam is, make sure to watch my seam video, the Monster World video. So essentially it's just part of our world getting through the seam. So I, we don't know what the seam looked like in Dawn of Fire, but I, I presume it's a similar sort of thing, isn't it? So it would have leaked through the seam and that is why Kana can talk. But I think it would be cool if Kana is communicating to the Colossal in Monstrous here. I think that would be really cool. An awesome law point there as well. So the Fire Elementals, like I've said, weren't actually discovered until later when it was discovered that the fire elementals had actually been taken refuge inside there. Now it's unknown if the Kana on Tribal Island was specifically the one that perhaps went on over to the fire islands but it presumably from like the cave paintings and things we can presume that other Kanas were inside the volcano. I like to think there's only one of each monster though I don't know why. <laughs> Oh dear, there's obviously not though, because we have like the same monster on each island and they can't be on different islands at once. <laughs> but Kanas would have been inside of the volcano itself and it would have been opened up for the players to discover obviously because Kana found out about it and the players found out about it at the same time. Then we found out the aspect of the monster world, didn't we? So that is pretty cool. I really liked it when the fire elementals were revealed for the original game. I thought it was a really groundbreaking moment and it added a lot to the lore as we've just gone over and there's lots of plot holes 
also, like, what is Kanan doing with the Colossal over there? I really think they are communicating with them, because I don't think the Colossals would have just bound to the islands themselves. I think Kanan asked for help. Perhaps the islands were in danger somehow. Perhaps the continent splitting up was actually about to cause the islands to split up as well, perhaps. That would be an interesting aspect towards it. But, yeah, there's lots of plot holes here. Anyway, so that's the continent. And we also have the remains on the Mirror Islands, which are in another dimension. They aren't part of the dimension between the normal natural islands and the continent itself. They're part of a different timeline, so we don't really count those. So they're not really to do with the continent, unfortunately. So we can't really say about what has happened in that dimension, but it must be different to what happened to the continent we know in the natural islands. Anyway, so then we have the outer islands. Now, the outer islands in the original game are actually described to have gone. They are just outright described to have gone. They've disappeared and no one knows where they are. So unfortunately, that's a law point that we just don't know anything about. We do know, however, what happened to Starhenge. Starhenge did appear in the original game, in the timeline as it is now. So the present day, it appeared and it came down from the sky and it collided onto a nearby colossal and it bound the colossal. We know that and... Along the way, we saw Celestials coming down and being discovered across the island and they came monthly on a monthly basis. We're unsure what exactly caused the Celestials to turn into stone alike to the Wubblins, but again, that's all speculation. We don't have any clarification behind that. In between Dawn of Fire and My Singing Monsters, we do know that Galvana had some kind of connection with Wubox as well. We don't know what form this took. Presumably, perhaps, they communicated in the present day before Celestial Island came down. We know that Wubox perhaps doesn't have communication with Galvana in present day and Galvana is a baby now in present day so again we don't know what caused them to revert to their baby forms perhaps from coming out of the statue it just revert them back to the baby forms I mean it really is up to interpretation isn't it really the Celestials were all found in a different order as well to what they were found with the monthly charts in the observation structure in Dawn of Fire of course that is going to be the case because they weren't finding them in any order they were just finding them as they were going along and we also know specifically which islands were in place of the outer islands in Dawn of Fire in the original game. So specific magical islands in the original have replaced sort of the area that outer islands are used to to be in. It isn't outright stated which magical islands outright replace the position of past outer islands, but we can speculate. So in the description, it states on Psychic Island that it replaced a cosmic island of ancient times in the description. And then on Fairy Island, it doesn't really mention anything, but I would be one to presume that it does replace Cloud Island. So that does seem to be what the Magical Islands are currently doing. Now that seems to indicate there will be four Magical Islands. So that is interesting. I personally thought we might get five. That's a very interesting route to go down. <laughs> if we are going down that route, that is. Perhaps one would replace Starhenge's original position. Who knows? <laughs> and then we also have the disappearance of Glubbers in Dawn of Fire in the time before My Singing Monsters, in between Dawn of Fire and My Singing Monsters, rather. So the Glubbers were creatures that are alike to Colossals and Titans, really. One can be seen on Party Island. They have not been seen in the present day of My Singing Monsters. It's unknown what has happened to these. So again, it's just speculation really isn't it so we can't say much about that unfortunately we also don't know what happened to all of the outer island monsters along with the islands unfortunately it does look like perhaps they were just dragged down with the islands themselves when they disappeared or they would took wherever the islands are now it's said in the psychic island description that it just blipped out of existence so i'm assuming that it could be to do with the prismatic portal i am going to go on one and say perhaps that is something that could have happened. Perhaps the prismatic portal swallowed up all of the natural monsters and the whole island. Oh dear. <laughs> that would be really bad, wouldn't it? But perhaps that's something that did happen. All we know is they just disappeared. 
<laughs> All of the baby monsters disappeared as well. There are no baby monsters in the original game, so presumably they all grew up on their own, I'd say. And it's unknown which monsters went to which island, but I'm presuming the ones which you see on which island, they stayed on the individual islands, if that makes sense. And then all the fire elementals just hid inside the volcano. Except Kana, who ended up coming along somewhere, somehow. Perhaps a Kana came out of the volcano and ended up on an island and was stranded there for eons and then all of a sudden they were found inside the amber and then the player is able to break down the amber that's potentially something that could have happened and all of the structures as well on the continent they probably just deteriorated over time the teleporter and the key structures that are seen on the mirror islands i'm going to presume in that timeline that perhaps some of them didn't deteriorate i am going to presume as we know in our timeline though we do know because the mirror islands follow a different timeline they aren't a part of the timeline we know they're part of a different dimension so a different reality so i'm going to presume that in that one that they didn't deteriorate at all because we can see some remains how the volcano and mirror water island structure the water bath one emerged exactly that's unclear as well we haven't received an update for dawn of fire so that happened sometime between the prequel and the original game so perhaps that's something what we can see in the prequel in the future but currently i'm just going to slot it in somewhere that this happened as well so that is everything that happened guys in between dawn of fire and my singer monsters i hope you learned something today and enjoyed listening to all of the lore that happened in between dawn of fire and the original game i will see you all later guys bye